Keeping visitors to our farm safe is of utmost priority for us here because we know it only takes one lawsuit and we could lose it all. We try to create as safe as an environment as we can, but we know that accidents will happen. If you were to have um, a problem where someone fell or tripped and hurt their, their ankle, say in a hole, or fell off of the wagon ride, um, obviously the, the legal and the insurance issues in that um, can be very challenging. We hope that when they come to a farm that they know that they're coming to a farm and know that there are inherent risks. Safety has become a concern for me since we bought this property that is right on a major road. We are constantly surveying our property in an effort to keep it safe for our customers. We look for risks, we make sure things are cleaned up and things are out of the way so that there isn't any type of hazard that we've created. What may be good enough for our harvest crew is not necessarily good enough for our retail customer base that's coming to shop and pick. You need to make sure that if you're offering you pick cherries, um, we've done a walkthrough of the orchard and we literally will mark off where there may be a groundhog hole. Not having people out in the fields and, you know, sort of out and about, we've narrowed our risk Factors. When people are bringing customers, you know, to walk around, like I feel like I spend a lot of time minding their kids. Knowing and anticipating what's going to happen that weekend is important in having enough staffing here to keep everyone safe in the orchard for apple picking or on the wagons during our festivals. We let them know that proper shoe attire is a must when they go into a corn maze. When we do a lot of our marketing, we try to make sure to highlight um, anything that people might not anticipate coming from different walks of life. So when I send an email saying it's you pick strawberry season, I literally put a little tagline at the end and say, just remember, strawberries are always out in the sun. Bring your hats, bring your sunscreen, bring your water bottles, and maybe bring your wagon to haul the kids and all the delicious berries you're gonna find in the field. You just can't come here and leave your 10-year-old and leave, you have to, an adult has to be with children up until they're 13. On their Amaze cards, it does have warnings and it does have um, rules for their safety. As far as insurance is concerned, we have our normal farm policy and then we have an umbrella policy. It may in some cases require a little bit more cost in premiums that we pay, but knowing that we're covered in the event that something would happen is, is worth that extra expense to us. I spent time this winter finding a more comprehensive farm insurance option for me based on what I own in the business, what's involved with the business, and taking that time has made me feel a lot better. We work really closely with our insurance provider and we find that having a very open, honest, truthful relationship with them has been really beneficial for us. We have a big umbrella that covers any sort of large um, problem that we would have and in terms of I think that it the product liability it also covers the manufacturing and the you know sale to consumer which includes um, sampling. Keeping our employees and our family members safe uh, when they're here at our farm is a is a high priority of course for us. Having a store right on the road has made me think about safety um, with patrons for my family and my customers a lot more than I've had to before. We, we try to offer training and things like that so that our employees are prepared if they would ever encounter a situation where they would be robbed or someone would stop and need help or be injured while they were here. So it's a concern for us. I don't let my kids per se be out here by themselves. Someone is always around. We have you know, um, things that make loud noises, a thing of pepper spray, things under the counter in case, you know, God forbid, you ever wanna need to do something like that. Cell phones are key. I make sure, especially with my children, that they always have their cell phone with them and if they don't answer, 
there are some consequences that go with that because I want to make sure that they're safe. They have access to um, a family member at all times if they're not present on the farm via phone um, and they know how to handle different situations as they might come across. As a business owner, I have maybe made the mistake of having my farm phone as my personal cell phone, so I've been getting a lot of phone calls related to the business, which I like because it helps me be a more hands-on business owner, but now I'm starting to succumb to, you know, all of the problems of a small business with a phone number on the internet. Like I get a lot of robot calls, I get a lot of people phishing, I get a lot of scams for like updating websites, updating Google listings. So I've had to learn a lot about that in the last year as well. We just, we have fantastic customers for the most part. Um, so I don't feel like on a regular basis we have any customers that are, um, you know, out of control, whether it be physically, emotionally, sort of lashing out when they're at our store or at an event. Um, in customer service, there are always disgruntled customers. Uh, a lot of times they're disgruntled before they get to you. Typically when a customer comes here, they're coming here for an experience. They're not co coming here to see what they can get away with. So you have an open, calm interaction with everybody like they're your best friend. I tend to put people on the registers and out front greeting people um, that that's what they like to do. So when someone walks in and is having a bad day or is complaining about something that they got, we just do our best to make it right and sort of just get them to see that like this is a peach. It's not your life and it's okay.